The ex experts who know about this much more than I do seem to say that it's going to be something we are going to have to live with. Whether we have to do the same level of risk assessment and every day, I don't know. I'm hopeful that that will change. But I think a small level of risk assessment is something we would do anyway, um, especially if we're vulnerable because of a condition like blood cancer or if we live with somebody who's vulnerable because of blood cancer. Uh, so thinking about this as similar to that can be helpful, although I appreciate the specific threat is different. But the way our mind deals with it can be similar. And we, we know this from other anxieties. I mean, the other thing to remember is I'm very hopeful listening to this conversation. I've learned so much from listening to Sian and Allison. Um, you know, a year ago, we didn't, nobody thought that there would be multiple vaccines available within a year of this pandemic, uh, of us knowing about this pandemic and the specific threat. And there's a lot of hopefulness that even with regards to the uncertainty about the vaccine efficacy, it sounds like actually, maybe we can't say how soon, but there will be data available based on research with blood cancer patients. So there is hopefulness in that, that a lot of the things that are unclear now will become clear at some point. We don't know what that time point is, but there is hope that it will become clearer. Um, until then, I think, I think actually, yes, we will have to carry on making small risk assessments, but that will change as well based on your medical situation changing. So a year from now, if you are no longer having treatment, if your cancer is in remission, then your clinical team might say that your risk, your risk profile will, might look different based on compared to where you might be now in your illness trajectory as well. So there will be things that will change. Uh, we won't, I don't think we'll have to carry on doing this for the rest of our lives, but some version of risk assessing will probably have to carry on for an indefinite length of time. But remember that we are, we are quite good at doing that as human beings. And I think Unfortunately, living under so many, so much data being thrown at us, so much information and so much instruction being thrown at us, we've probably lost contact with that, 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 that kind of our own rational ability to reason with facts and come to a conclusion of what feels right for me rather than what should I do.